What's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. And we're mixing it up. We're doing a sit down and we're doing walking tours. We're doing two videos a week till the day I die. And we're going to do, uh, you know, a little, we're going to change things up and keep you guys on your heels. Keep you guys interested. I don't want to bore anybody. You know? All right. We're going to cover a lot of stuff today. So please put your listening ears on and uh, play along with us. The first thing I want to say is number one is JDT Go. We are, at the end of the day, a shipping company. Do you agree with that, Nick? Yeah. That's a, that's that's an important part of this business is shipping, right? That's a good. It's probably half of it. It's every. You, know, you know what? You're right. It's half of it. I was gonna say it's everything, but it's it's half of it, because you know finding the deals, promoting the deals, and you know that's half of it. And shipping it, getting it to is the other half. And we really have this fine tuned. We've been shipping now for twelve years. Is it twelve years? Yeah, probably about that. Twelve years we've been shipping. So we kind of got it figured out. And we really do our part here at JDT Co. to make sure you get anything you order from us. However, there is one issue that always rears its ugly head. Okay? And I would ask Nick if he knows what it is, but Nick clearly knows what it is. Right? What's that? <laughs> What's the biggest issue in the shipping industry? Shipping times? No. Update your information in PayPal. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh my God, guys, let me let you in on a secret. If you live in house A, for a year, five years, say you were born there and you got married and you moved to house B, or say you didn't pay your rent at house A and got apartment A or and got thrown out and you had to move to apartment B. Whatever the scenario is, that's on you. We're not here to judge anybody, but if you move, the first thing you should do is update your shipping information. I know it's not easy. But yes, it's possible and you have to do it. We have people all the time that are like, oh, I don't live there anymore. I moved. That's my mom's house. I got into a fight with my landlord. I got in a fight with my landlord. I didn't pay my rent. It's like, dude, come on. Update your shipping information. We had one guy, right? We've had, I got a million of these stories, but this one guy's like, I was like, well, dude, you know, we look, we're, I'm looking at on a computer and your, the, your new house is only about a half a mile from your old house. Why don't you just go pick your package up? He goes, oh, it's a bad area. I don't want to go. You don't live there. Not me. Go pick, go pick your package up. We had a, a lady. I, would, I wouldn't say a lady. No. A, a female. Female. A female. Who uh, recently made a purchase from us and did not update her shipping information. Okay. And she called up the store and she's like, oh, I know. She's be she was being super nice and Frankie was on the phone with her. And Frankie's the nicest guy in the world. Trust me. He, she, he, Frankie's a gentleman. Me, not so much. So I'm like, I'm watching Frankie's head spin like this. So I walk over there to the phone and I said, excuse me, look, maybe, maybe I can help you. And she's going, this is ridiculous. That's what she's screaming. She's screaming at us. And I'm like, I go, miss, you know, there's nothing I can do. You, you really need to update your shipping information. I said, you, you know, you can go to your old address and pick the tool up it's probably sitting on the front porch i said you know there's nothing i can do from here i don't even know what state it was but it wasn't new jersey i have a new jersey story too trust me on that one but so she's like i'm not doing that that's your job i go no no no. my job was to send you the tool to the address you provided in paypal we did our part and so she, she's like well you better send me two new of these and it was it was it was uh I think it was uh I don't you know I don't want to say what it yeah. was, <laughs> but it was like, it was a Milwaukee item. It was a Milwaukee item. It was it was like four hundred dollars. So I was like, I'm not sending you a new one. I've already sent you sent you what you what you ordered and paid for. It's you have to go get it or call the post office and do your part. I can't do that after after it leaves my building. Now it's up to you to, to finish this 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 transaction. So she's like, I go listen, and she would not listen to me. She was yelling at me. I go listen. I said at this point, just file, just file a claim with PayPal, and let that let it play out that way. Whoever wins wins. Whoever loses loses. And then she starts giving me the f u mother effer, and I'm like, whatever. The sweet lady that was on the phone, and she was just like on a tirade. But whatever. Hey, listen, man. You know what? Update your shipping information, and this stuff would never happen. She wasn't very nice. She was not nice. She was not nice, and I and I hope in the end, she gets her tools and leaves me alone. Jesus. Her husband's a nicer guy. All right, let's talk tools. Last night I was watching my, my I was watching my buddy's video, CP. He bought some hammers from us, and CP pays for everything. We don't give him shit. Trust me. The only thing I give him is my, is my friendship. 
He buys everything. I don't give away tools, guys. That's not my thing. I, I, I like I like to pay. I like I like for money to get exchanged when you take my tools. So he talked about some cook hammers, trusty cook hammers. So I figured I would at least do do him the favor of of, of doing a video on them also. And this is some of our most popular cook hammers, right? Trusty cook hammers. And I think this is my this is my favorite. I have two favorites, the stubby, because a lot of times you really don't need all this. You know, levers. I mean, sometimes you got to whack it hard, you might need the long handle. But you know, if you don't need the long handle, grab a shorty, right? Yeah. And then this one right here, I think, in my opinion, is the, is the game changer, okay? Because if you're working on, on, on a vehicle, you got to give it the, the, the heavy hit, you got a, you got a dead blow, a metal cap, you're good to go. You want to hit something light, flip it over. You got a soft spot. In case you don't want to, case you don't want to do some damage to it, to your whatever you're hitting. And then we got this. What did you know the price of these offhand? Uh, I think those are sixty dollars. This is sixty bucks, and it's available in what colors? Red. Red. We're still waiting on green. Red. Green soon, hopefully. Uh, green. Uh, green someday. The green exact someday. Words were. I have no idea when it'll be done. The world's on some shit, people. And we I'm, could I, only. Do, I asked if we, we could get blue could also. Only. What they say to that? I know that was like months ago. Oh. All right. Well, listen. We're gonna we're gonna do as the supply issue in this world is fixed. We're gonna do our best to get more stuff to you guys. We are holding our own. We are purchasing as much inventory as we possibly can because you know there's a lot of stuff that you just can't get. Mm, right? Yeah. What's this called? I think it's a dead blow extender. This is a dead blow extender. So if you want to hit it like this. Do whatever you want with it. You know what this is? You don't have just cause I don't. We only had a handful, so I don't think I really put Do we sell any of these? In there's, only, there's only two back there, so I mean yeah, we sold them. I think we had like oh, just a handful. Yeah, okay. So listen, these are on these are on the app too. App. JD Tico. Website, jerseydiscounttool.com. Right? Yeah. I did good. And if you don't want to take the hammer out, you can always use the old trusty, not the trusty cook hammer. You can always use the trusty old hit tool. And I'm going to be doing more videos on these. Every time we talk about them, we sell them. These are spring-loaded tools for knocking out pins or doing center punching. Very nice, because a lot of times you want to center punch something, you're like, you're moving around, moving around. This way you can hold it, and it puts a perfect indentation on it for you to drill. Or if you got to peen something, you got to drive a pin through with your pew, pew, pew. It'll work. These work really well. Hit tool. The Alani app and the website called the store. 1833JSEND. Yes, this is a store. This is not some figment of somebody's imagination. This is an actual brick and mortar walk in location. And Nick does have, Nick Jr., not me, because I'm on a road mostly. He does have a, a loyal following that comes into the store, right? Yeah. He's got a good crew. We got some crazy guys that walk in the store. I had a crazy one the other day. Did you really? Yeah. Any, any good story you want to talk about, real quick? He walked in, he hands me like a stack of business cards. Like, hey, buddy, this is what I do. He was a plumber or something. And I was like, oh, cool. He's like, look around. He's like, listen, I need an impact. He bought a 3 8 impact, the Vim 3 8 socket set. Oh, nice. Standard. Nice. He, he was like, oh. He dropped a few bucks, right? He did. Nice. I like a nice that. guy. And he bought a set of uh, flush cuts. Oh, flush cuts. He was like, oh, I'm using some of my guitar. I'm a rock guitarist. Whoa. You're really. He's like, oh, me too. Me too, buddy. I don't know if those are cut. Are those cut guitar strings? I, it I will, want more of like a it will cut. It will cut a guitar string, but I would I would definitely recommend using a regular cutter. But you know what's nice about this? Because you know a thing about a guitar is this and that. That'll give it a nice flush cut. It's still gonna cut you. You think so? Yeah. Well, because if you could do because if you did it with di a, di a diagonal cutter, it gives you that little sharp edge. I bet you that's less uh, painful than this. Probably. probably. Oh, well, let's why don't you do a little test to get back to the guys? Maybe they want. I, maybe I, we have some guitar players out there. I think you have a nice set of diagonal cutters there. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. We're getting to them, too. I have a set of these, uh, what, what brand is this? Wea. 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 These are diagonal cutters from Wea. The super cuts. Super cuts. And they have this little button on there, and it changes the leverage. So I just tested them on this little metal clip, right? And you see how little hard that was? Now you, you, pull, you, you, hang on, you push the button, and now you do it again, and it changes the dynamic of it. Oh, that, no, this was the hard one. See that? That's hard. See how hard that was to cut? And then you hit the button, it changes the leverage. It's pretty cool. Yeah, see? It changes the leverage of them. This is our first time playing. Yeah, first time. Just talking about a package. But see, it changes the leverage. It's hard to convey in video, but with your hand, you can definitely tell the difference. And these really do work. 
and there's something new we got we got it from we we try to bring in as many different brands to you guys as possible just because like we're always looking for the new hottest tool i was doing something new. i was doing something new i was starting a new series it was called nick's choice okay and what i'm doing with nick's choice is i am telling text Starting out text, what's the best tool they should possibly have? And this was number two in our series of what I thought every new starting text should have in this box. Yesterday we did, and this is on TikTok, get on TikTok, JD Tico. I, I try to do at least a video with there on TikTok sometimes too. And I was trying to say that if the first time you walk into a shop as a new tech, you should, I mean, you, you got to take tires off because that's the first thing to make you do and oil changes. So I had a, 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 a mid torque impact, one battery. What else did I have? Uh, air, a tire gauge. Tire gauge. We did a, we did a special and a set of lug a set of lug nut sockets and it was how much it was like three eighty three eighty five or something like that. It's on TikTok. Check it out. But number two in the series of Nick's Choice, the Godfather of the tool industry, top pick of this new starting text was this set right here. You're gonna need a screwdriver set and there's nothing better than Vessel. I don't care what you say. Vessel is the best screwdriver in the world. This is the cheaper set, yes, but it's still a great set and it's only forty bucks. Save your money when you start out. You don't need a $500 set of screwdrivers. You're going to use the only three screwdrivers out of the whole set. I'm telling you. I don't know. It seems like the new guys always want to spend the most money. Because they're being misled and lied to by the average tool dealer. There's nobody honest in tool trucks anymore. And that's a problem. Guys, do your job better. Be honest to your guys. Don't take all their money. Don't put them in a hole. Don't make the guy spend $1,000 for a box of tools this big. That's not right. You're being dishonest. What? I don't care. No, it's true. I'd rather have like customers that you know you're honest with. Like, oh, what do you think of this? Honestly, I don't like it. Yeah, I I, I try to sell stuff that's good. I try to sell. The, I mean, you come to my store. You find me something in my store. And you're like, dude, that's the biggest piece of shit in the world. Show it to me, cause I don't sell shit. And then I got the I got this. This was my second choice. You're gonna need a pair of pliers. You gotta pull a clip out, turn something, get in this tight spot. I got a nice three piece set of pliers. Forty nine ninety forty nine ninety five. It's my brand. So yes, I could have showed you a gear range brand set, but in my opinion, I think this is better. And there's made in China. Mine's not. Okay? It is green. Theirs isn't. Okay? I think theirs is trash. Mine? Way better. I don't like the gear range pliers. You do or don't? I don't. I don't. I don't like them at all. They give, they give them a name. Pitbull pliers. Pitbull. Fuck you, Pitbull. These are the Jasper pliers. Pitbull. What are you, in the 90s? Yeah, they really thought they split the item with it. I just think they're trash. Um, how about they want the little zip zip on the bottom? Say, like, come on, bro. Which one's that? It's got the little, the, the, the little spring loaded lever in there. Remember the tool shooter oh, showing to us? Well, they copied the Nipex. Well, of course they did. Everybody copies everybody the tool industry. The only person that's copying anybody is me. I'm the originator. If you don't, if you don't, if you disagree with that comment, then don't even watch my shit because our relationship is is built on a lie. And a set of oil filter pliers. This is our brand, and these are only twenty three dollars. These three things in your box is a nice addition when you're starting out. And if you're a veteran, put it in your home garage. Big announcement coming uh, next Wednesday. I will be off. I'm going to be. I, I shouldn't say I'm going to be off. I will not be in my route as normal, but I will be working with EarCat and yes. Nick shooting videos at one of our customer stations. Live demos, people! We're bringing the smoke to you. Big Dave. Yeah, and speaking of bringing the smoke to you, Ingersoll Rand is out of their f***ing minds. The prices, they are, they, they... Did you get the price increase in the email yesterday? I screenshot it, took everybody's name off it that needed to be taken off it. Some of these prices are going up across the board well, hang on. It, the, the, they, the price is going, the price change in the industry, the line card just long, and it varies from 2% to 39%. 39%. Price increases. You know why, people? Diesel fuel. Diesel fuel is going up. When diesel fuel goes up, petroleum goes up. This is petroleum. Getting your tools from point A to point B. China, Taiwan, America, it doesn't matter. Germany, Japan, anywhere that tool is produced needs to get to here. So that involves boats, trains, planes, trucks, and they all run on diesel. Yes, your airplane runs on diesel. Refined diesel, jet fuel is refined diesel. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but that's what I was always told. Did you know that? I <laughs> But the, listen, when a farmer goes to the store to pick up his seeds in his pickup truck, it's probably diesel. When he puts the seeds in the ground, a tractor, it's diesel. When he drives his little Kubota tractor out to, the, to feed the cows, that's diesel. Okay? When he when he when he does the uh, the what do you call it thing? The cor the combine, that's diesel. When a truck picks up the, the 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 product, that's diesel. When a truck brings it to the grocery store, 
that's diesel okay when you go to the grocery store to pick it up that's the first time gas is even involved in the equation unless you're driving a diesel pickup truck then you were invested with the six dollars and 33 cents a gallon that i paid yesterday also six dollars and 33 cents for diesel wow go look at the one go look at the sign go look at the sign right now do some research Nixon, Nixon checked the corner gas station, tells the price of diesel is today here in New Jersey in case you want to know. Regulars $479, mid grades $509, premium is $529, and diesel is $633.90. $633. So we hope we have we have not had a price increase in New Jersey on diesel in 24 hours. That's new. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yesterday I was watching the there's another guy on YouTube, another tool dealer, and he's an independent guy like me, and I'm also I'm a big fan of him. If you follow me, you should follow him because he's a better version of me. I am out of my mind and a lunatic, and he's a true gentleman. His name is Coil Tools. Okay, give him a follow. He's out of the great state of Texas, and he's a, a very very nice man. But he's totally out of his mind. Let me tell you why. All due respect, right? All due respect. Yeah. I was watching. I was. I was. I, we did, released a video yesterday, so I watched it when I was done. One of his videos popped up, so I, I watched it. And I went down a wormhole, and his name is Lindsay. Lindsay's a good guy. Me, not so much. Lindsay's a good man. He does ear tool repairs at home, okay? Now, he's an older, he's, I think he's older. You think he's older than me? He's got to be. Maybe. Maybe, maybe by a, maybe a year or two. I'm, listen, I, I look good. I don't, but trust me, I'm old as F. I've been selling tools for 37 years. Figured out, guys. I'm not 20 anymore. How long have you been selling tools for? Who, Lindsay? Yeah. Not that long. Not that long. He's. I. I just guessing. I. I bet you 10 years. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, Lindsay, please comment below. And while I'm at it, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Nobody like, comment, subscribe to that shit. I gotta start saying that in the beginning. I'm, I got guys come on my my show. I gotta get my Lamborghini, like I talked about yesterday. What? I can't fit a Lamborghini. I'm going somewhere. Story. Yeah, okay. So I'm watching him. So there's Lindsay, and he's like, one of my customers had an Ingersoll Rand titanium gun, and it was an older model. It wasn't even a new model. And he's like, you know, he needs, to, he needs for me to repair it. So there he is in his home office taking his, this, this, and his gun was dirty. He might he might need to buy a little tool detailer, just saying. Lindsay, we, we'll sell you some tool detailer. Clean that thing like new. And he's taking his whole gun apart, and he's like, I'm going to charge the customer an hour's labor, $40. Okay. My man took this guy's gun apart, cleaned it, ordered the parts. But and it's funny because when he was doing, and I think Lindsay dropped the ball here, and I'm going to tell you why. And listen, Lindsay, I, I'm your friend. I'm not saying anything bad. But I, I think you dropped the ball, and I'll tell you why. When you took that 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 uh the the rotor out of that impact, it was rusted, and it definitely had some you know some some rust marks on it from water. And I'm saying to myself, if you would have sent that, if that gun was a uh, under a year, uh, under two years old, and you sent it in for warranty, Ingersoll Rand would refuse that warranty. And like you, use, you mentioned any power Ohio power tool. I hate them guys. And you, uh, you like them? That's that's fine. But you were, they would be the first people to deny that warranty, a hundred percent. They'd open that, that that impact up and be like, uh, warranty denied, uh, customer abuse, water. Okay. Now, the problem we're going to have as dealers, Lindsay or me or any other dealer out there, we're going to go back to our customer. Hey, uh, Timmy, um, they, they, they denied your warranty. My good six months old, you're a piece of shit. That's why you you, know, you suck. You know, but you don't warranty shit and go on and on. And, and like, at the end of the day, we have no, we, there's nothing we can do. If the, the warranty department says the warranty is voided, we're done. There's nothing to do. We can get the old tool back and show you where it was rusty, but at that point, we've already lost the customer because you've lost your fucking mind. So normally in a case like that, what happens is, Lindsay, Nick, or any other dealer out there, we eat the warranty. We eat the repair. 100 bucks, 100 bucks. Batteries, Milwaukee batteries, very common problem. Guys drop them, they have a little issue with weak screws, battery falls apart. What happens? What's, what's Milwaukee do, Nick? Denies the warranty. Yeah, denies the warranty. Denies it's the warranty. Bucks to fix a 5.0. Yeah. Five more. So I mean, like you know, it's yeah, it's 139 dollars. It you, you if we send them a broken 5.0 battery, split case, they want to charge me 139 dollars for a battery. I could sell them batteries cheaper, probably. What do you think? Yeah. But that's it. But the problem is, as dealers, we have to be the nice guys. We eat all these repairs and warranties, and. I did it for years. Now I just tell my guys, hey guys, here's the deal. They refuse it, ain't nothing I'm going to do. I'm not going to pay your bills. Your lack of maintenance, 
It's not coming out of my pocket. And you know what? After a while, you know, the guys respect you for at least being honest to them. We covered this when Aircat was here. The best thing you could possibly do at the end of the day when you don't your tool is flip it upside down, flood the whole tool with oil, hit the trigger, flood with oil, let it sit overnight. At that point, all the shitty water that your compressor from 1972 has put into contaminants and water has put into it, tomorrow when you go to use it again for the first time, it'll all be blown out. We gave that advice and, you know, you know, most guys only oil their tools, let alone condition them at night. Back to the Milwaukee batteries, we came out with these stupid straps on, but at this point we have sold a lot of these. And the reason why we sell them is because they work. They will hold your battery together. They will take the, sh the dampening. They will take the dampening force of the, the battery and hold it together. And these will save your batteries. I know. God, some of the, these are really a heated subject. Some guys are like, that's ridiculous. I would never buy it. You don't have to buy it. Have to but buy it. if you want to buy it, we sell them and they do work. That's it. Enough said, right? I mean, they work enough where people people have ripped them off, so. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know. Now, listen, I've seen everything wrapped. I mean, you could, you could use a piece of Velcro. You could use a rubber band. You could use an o -ring, You could use whatever you want. But all I'm saying is this is the right size and the right formula or the right resistance that'll make your life easy. It's small money for a big problem. <sighs> right? And how much? These are, and while, while I'm shilling for myself, it's 30 bucks for a three-pack. Hold your comments yourself, don't even care. We sell them, and I can't even keep them in stock. When you order, what do you, how many order at a time? About a thousand. <laughs> we order a thousand at a time. It's a big box that comes in, I don't know what's in it, but I'm usually the guy putting put them in a package and staple them together. Okay? Because I ain't afraid to work! Lindsay's not afraid to work neither. That guy's in his home office rebuilding air tools. Could you imagine? No. He's dedicated. He's, I would never, never, would I ever do that? No. No, I'm sitting here, right? And like everybody's area is different, everybody's customer base is different, and I get it. And that's one thing. Nothing in the tool business is the same across the board. And I'm saying to myself, if a guy handed me that impact, and like Nick, my impact doesn't work, you know, if you send out for repair, I'd be like, dude, they're gonna charge $120 to fix that gun. It's not worth it. But oh, is there anything you do? And I'm like, I, you know, no, there's nothing. It's trash. And I would sell him a new gun. And at this point, you can't even sell anybody a new Ingersoll Rand impact because the prices of Ingersoll Rand have gone through the roof. I won't even sell them anymore. I'm done. I'm done with Ingersoll Rand titanium guns. It's a great gun, but at the end of the day, it's the same mechanism that's in the, that's in the Ingersoll Rand 231 that they made in 1971. It's the same. It's the same exact working internals. Do you know? Do, 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 I don't know if these guys even know that. What? Well, no, I'm just gonna say I hate selling Ingersoll Rand. Same. There's always an issue. The prices are always changing. Yeah, but I was on Amazon. Well, I shouldn't say Amazon because when I was telling the story, I wanted to do some research and see the price them. And there's some cheap ones out there still. We're the paying been, you know, old inventory, yeah. Because I know if I have to buy a new Ingersoll Rand 2230, the prices are insane, and I refuse to sell them. Right? They're, we're paying more than we sold it for a few months ago. Yeah, that's a true story. We had a deal. We had it for three ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should have bought it. We should have bought a hundred. Who yeah. knew? Who knew? Now we pay more than that. <laughs> yeah, we do. We pay a lot more than that. JD Tico lights. These are selling well. Don't forget to get one. This is the JD Tico drop light. It's got a little cover on here to protect it. How much is this? Uh, Forty nine dollars. I've been selling this in the truck like crazy. Really? Guys love them. Absolutely. Pipes of cyclops is just shit. I gotta. I gotta do another tool truck tour. I have every light made in my truck. I have them all displayed. You walk in because we sell a lot of lights in the store, in the route, everywhere. And this one's definitely selling well, man. This is a very well-made light, and I love. It. I put my name on it. I like it so much. Put my name on it. Okay, guys, real quick. This is the new cal. This is the new Calvan dual view. And what this does, this has a, a forward-looking camera and a side-looking camera. So if you're looking down into a, a cylinder, you can see if there's any scoring on the walls. Right? Yeah, and that's one hundred and ten dollars. It's one hundred and ten dollars. Next to your phone, iPad, and I'm sure it'll work on your computer too. The standard one is seventy nine. That's why Nick gets paid the big bucks, guys. He knows all the prices mean not so much. And then the pistol grip one. That's pretty nice. I think that's the best value. This is the best value for your money. Right here. How much? $89. Really? Yeah. $89. We, and we like Calvin. We're big supporters of the Calvin brand. Calvin is a very diverse company. They have a, diff, a couple different brands under their umbrella. And we have a very good relationship with them. And uh, we like to consider them family. We drank one a few times, right? Yeah. Oh.
They're like fun either. Tool They're fun at tool shows. And real quick, guys, uh, we've been doing mystery boxes. And there's a couple different reasons why we're doing mystery boxes. And, you know, listen, it varies from keeping you guys occup in occupied, keeping you guys interested, keeping you guys in the loop, and, you know, getting new stuff to you guys that you might not have seen before, getting, you know, getting some inventory that's hard to ship alone together with a friend to get out to you out the door. So at the end of the day, we've been doing these mystery boxes and we've done uh, 50, 50, 29, and a 10. And we've sold, I mean, I'm, we sold a lot of them. I mean, a lot. And so far, zero complaints. Yeah. And that's hard to do because we, we do mystery box, for, we, do, we do on Black Friday normally. And we always get like, you know, and we'll sell them on Black Friday. We'll do like, you know, 300, 200 mystery boxes. And we'll get like two guys or one guy and they're like, this is ridiculous. I found it on Amazon for $3 cheaper. You're a crook. And I was saying, it's funny because like we did these, uh, give me a first class envelope, please, the bubble one. Like I was saying, shipping's everything. So we're going to send, we, we, we did the $10 one, right? It had to go in one of these, right? And this is how much to ship this? $4. $4. PayPal takes transaction fees, like going to be like, I think it's 80 cents, 85 cents transaction fee. So... Out of the ten dollars, we only we're only gonna get five dollars, right? So, what you got in envelope was worth way more than five dollars. And I mean, you know, some guys are getting two or three things in an envelope. So do the math. I mean, you know, you guys got some I good deals. I was pretty generous on some of them. What's that? I was pretty generous. <laughs> on some of them. And you know, what? it's funny because like you know, we get some really good deals and closeouts, and you know, listen, we're we're gonna we're gonna live the fight another day. We'll keep the doors open. But you know, at the end of the day, we want you guys to get more value than you think you're getting. We want you to be happy, you know, because we don't want you know, we don't we, we want. I'd rather lose a few bucks than than you think you're losing a few bucks. And there's there's one going on right now. And there's one going on right now. How much? Because this, this this is Friday. Oh shit, we're doing one today. Yeah, I don't know what it's gonna be. Uh, we're trying to think of a, a, a good price point. Price points are kind of hard because you got to really figure it out. But I it's mean, good. it's we're when thinking, you're watching this video, it's going to be live on the app. Uh, yes, website, it's so. going to be live. Check it out on the app website. It's going to be deal under the deal of the day. Mystery box. You should give it its own category. Yeah? Mystery box. You should do. You know what? I got an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Mystery. You, you it's should have the deal of the day. Huh? It's just the deal. Nope. Of the day. You should have it. You should have a running mystery box every day. Different price value, and I bet you these guys would try it because it'll be fun. Fun! And I'm all about fun. People said I was people said I was angry. I'm not angry. I'm passionate. Passionate about the business. All right, guys. So that's it. So listen, we're gonna be doing mystery box. And I think we're I think I, think, I mean I don't want to do a hundred. I wanna save those those for like uh Black Friday. Black Friday. So maybe we'll do like a 75 or an 80. You know? What maybe do you think? It's gonna be 75 bucks. Well, let's not say we could say it. I think gonna, we think it's gonna be seventy-five bucks. Check on it. Check it on the app and see. We'll make it a good one. I promise. We're gonna make it worth your while because here, JD Tico, it's all about you, not about us. We want you to be happy, and we're just kind of gonna try to be like uh, storts of the industry, guys. Like we always say, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace.